Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you all an identification video on a plant known as poor man's pepper. The plant that we're looking at right now is poor man's pepper. This is a very common plant that you're going to find around in your lawn, on the side of roads. You're going to find it probably on the edges of your garden, edges of other landscaped areas, and other various uh, places even in waste areas so be careful if it's in an area that does have a lot of waste you don't really want to forage it from those locations now let's take a quick look at some of the identification features of poor man's pepper the first thing that we're going to notice this time of year whenever we look at our poor man's pepper is these tiny little flowers these flowers are growing in what's called a raceme and then right beneath that we can see these little round seed pods and this is the part that is generally used as a pepper substitute. It is a very delicious pepper substitute, and I enjoy using this plant in soups and stews, especially on roasted meats as well. It's really, really good peppery and pungent flavor. I really enjoy these seed pods. If you're going to use these seed pods, you do want to use them when they are green, because whenever they get brown, they lose a lot of their flavor. We're going to notice that the flowers are white, and these flowers are going to grow always above all of the seed pods. These flowers do have four petals. Oops, sorry about the wind. As we look at this raceme of flowers, we're going to notice there are a lot of flowers on this raceme, as we can see here. This stalk with these seed pods will actually grow several inches in height. Right now, as you can see, it's really, really tiny. It's about the size of my thumbnail. But this will continue to grow until it gets several inches in height, and you can get hundreds of seed pods per plant. So it can be a really, really good resource to have if, let's say, you run out of pepper in your kitchen, and it's too late, and you have a bunch of this in your yard. I use this in the pinch all the time. I absolutely love eating this plant. As we notice, if we look here, we can see some flowering tops coming out here, 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 here here and here and here and each plant will do this multiple times so you can actually get a whole lot of these seed pods from this plant so this is a really really good resource if you need some extra pepper whenever we look at the leaves of poor man's pepper we are going to notice these toothed serrations these tooth margins that this has and there are a couple other different species of poor man's pepper plants one of them is called cow pepper or pepper grass those species are not going to have these very, very sharp serrations on the margins like we can see here. However, they are usable in the same way, so keep that in mind. Another thing we're going to notice if we look at the leaves is these leaves are very dark green on the top, and they're almost the same color on the underside, so there's not much variation in the underside or the top side of these leaves. We're going to notice that the leaves of your poor man's pepper are going to grow in an alternating pattern up and down the stem. Now there are a couple of different variations of leaves that you're going to find on this plant. The higher up you go, the more the leaves are going to alternate. The lower that we get on the plant, we're going to notice the leaves not only get larger, but the toothed serrations also become way more prominent. And we can see just how sharply divided these leaves are. Also towards the bottom of the plant, you're going to notice in the nodes, you're going to see more of these leaves coming out, just like we can see down here. All these different little leaves coming out. These leaves are stalked, as we can see, this large petiole coming in in the very center of the frame right here. Now here we can see a smaller poor man's pepper plant, and we can see, as we look at this long stalk that it's got here, we can see all these different leaves coming out. Some of the other species of your poor man's pepper, or cow pepper, or pepper grasses as they're called, though they're not really grasses, will have this very large stem. Now this one doesn't look very big now, but they can also get much, much bigger. Let's go take a look at one of those. Right now we can see a much larger poor man's pepper plant, and you can see just how big this stem gets and just how many of these leaves this plant will produce. So I wanted to show you guys that there are various growth forms and variations that you're going to find within this plant. So that's how you guys can identify poor man's pepper. This is a really delicious plant to go out and forage. It's also extremely common. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.